Greetings. I'm not the type of person who usually likes talking in public, so let's just get straight to the point. So, you're trying to launch a Roblox client, and it, for some reason, crashes on you after the new update. You try searching for multiple videos online, such as using the command prompt, using disk cleanup, or it's just using the alternative, the Microsoft Store version, which I find heavily broken for me, especially running out five frames per second for something as simple as a mouse cursor. You keep looking and it, it's all the exact same videos, just copy and paste. And sometimes they might look fake as well. So for me, I had to find this out on my own. As you can see, this client is working right now. But this is what I did to get it working. So, you want to open Windows Defender. And you can do it just right here. You do not have to use the center or anything. Just click on the icon. Go to Device Security. And go to Core Isolation. Once you go here, you want to turn off Memory Integrity. It will then prompt you to restart your computer which you will have to anyways, otherwise the client will not work. Once you do that, um, log in, and then open the Roblox client. And as you can see, it's working for me right now. And let's say I go to this game, for example. Will it work? <coughs> and the answer is yes. It's functional right now, the audio is playing. It's not crashing. It's not crashing so far. And yeah, pretty much everything works. The CPU is stable. There is no lag spikes whatsoever. <laughs> and there's a Karen screaming in my ear right now. I should have turned off voice chat. And yeah, everything is working well right now. And that's why. I have for you for now but let's say if it doesn't work for you somehow then here's a alternative I found well not really alternative I just did it the same as turning off core isolation so it's possible that either one of them worked and I just don't know it since I did both at the same time but what I did was basically restart my computer as usual because the core isolation maybe restart my computer anyways and when I logged in I immediately went straight for opening the Roblox client that's why you see this page instead of the web page as usual and yeah I hope these um, two new methods finally since all the videos have been the same for the past three months or so and uh, yeah that's about it see ya